hello everyone welcome to code for you in this video i'm going to show you the project on which i was working from the last two weeks and uh, uh, also if you want the source code of this project you can message me on the instagram uh, my instagram id is uh, code for you code underscore for underscore you also the link of my instagram id is in the description you can message me uh, over there if you want the source code of this project so let's begin let's see what uh, this project is about okay so this project is uh, actually an uh, automatic attendance system uh, cre uh, created in python uh, using opencb and uh, this project will detect uh, this project will detect the f uh, face of person differ fa face of different people according uh, to them if they have enrolled in the database it will going to detect the uh, face and it will going to mark the attendance if it detects that face also the attendance uh, will be displayed on the screen in the form of uh, graphics by by graphics uh, like bar charts and uh, pie charts so let's get started and let's see how to set up that uh, project and uh, how to run that project okay so first of all to run this project we need some dependencies and uh, those dependencies are uh, we need uh, these uh, pre-built modules that come along with python like kinter like kinter and uh, os modules uh, in spite of this we also need some external modules like threading uh, sub process pill uh, pillow and uh, pandas also we need uh, additionals uh, like sqlite numpy and uh, we need play sound to play sound this will be using to play sound when the attendance has been marked so the user can get an idea of that like, uh, his attendance has been marked and also we need date and time module to keep the record uh, record of date uh, or time accurate time on which the attendance has been marked and uh, we also need sqlite 3 to store the uh, data of uh, attendance in the database so we so to show display the data of a particular employee or a particular student we can uh, grab that data from the database and display it on the screen the Kinter and OpenCV will run parallelly, so we need multiple threads for them uh, for this project to run. So we are using threading module here. Also, we need this matplotlib, lib uh, matplotlib library to display the attendance in the form of bar graphs and uh, pie charts. So uh, let's see how to set up this uh, project. First of all, there's a file. Uh, let's open in Explorer. You can see there are uh, multiple files here like add user detector, show attendance, start, and trainer. The main file is here start. This is the UI file of this project. This contains the UI of this project, and this file has been opened in our Sublime Text Editor. And uh, let's try to execute this program. Here you can see this is the main UI of this program. Here there are uh, here multiple buttons are available and uh, the first one is start detecting. This function uh, this button is used to de uh, start detecting the face or we can say start uh, marking the attendance. Okay. So the second option is add new face. If we want to enroll a new employee in the database, we can do that from this button. Uh, after en enrolling a new face, we need to retrain that data model so that that uh, our program can also detect that newly added employee. Okay. In the last, we have a check attendance button, which we will going to use to check the attendance or to display the attendance on the screen. Also, we have this little help icon and this settings icon and also this quit button. So. Also, I'm going to show you the database of this project. Uh, 
so here is the database of this project we have created a face base named database in the sqlite 3 and we have a table inside that database named people and here we are taking three values first one is name which is a string and second one is id which is integer and third was uh, third one is attendance which is also an integer for now the data uh, the database is completely empty because we don't have any face enrolled in the system so let's see uh, first of all let's uh, get back to our code let's try to execute it again here let's try to check the attendance first if we click on check attendance you can see it says running the program is opening here we go the uh, it the program has been started now you can see there is nothing here nothing is displaying in the bar bar graphs or pie charts Be why because we don't have any employee or any user enrolled in our program so first of all we need to add some new faces to our program so that we can start working or we can start marking attendance so for that we need to click here add new face here so when we click here add new face this will going to open our camera and it will going to uh, search for the face for example if i am sitting in front of my camera after clicking this add new face button this will going to open the camera it will going to capture my it will going to start capture my face and it will going to uh, create some images uh, it will going to crop my face uh, from the main image and it will going to store those individual images created like uh, of uh, faces into a folder and then it will going to create a model from those images so i got a picture here of steve jobs let's try that on this image now i'm going to click on this add new face button here and uh, here it is asking a uh, new window has been open and in that window it is asking for the name we need to write a name for this user let's say steve s t e v e and now hit start enrolling now So we have successfully enrolled a new face into the database and uh, now let's try to add an another face. Let's try to add a new face here. Let's click add new face again and again we need to provide a new name. So let's say for this one, let's go for Sukhoi and hit start enrolling. Okay, so we have successfully enrolled two faces in our database. Uh, let's check our database now. Uh, let's refresh it. Uh, you can see. Let's refresh it. Uh, you can see here we got our two users. The first one is Steve with ID of 9 and the second one is Sukhoi with the ID of 10 and uh, the attendance for both is zero zero okay so now we need to train the model now click here retrain data after clicking this retrain data we uh, the data uh, our, our model will be retrained with those f images now uh, our data set is ready here we can see in our data set folder the images has been there images has been cropped from around the face and has been stored in this folder and now we are going to train our model with these images okay so 
let's click here retrain data here you can see the training is going on well it's very fast and uh, the training has been completed now we can start detecting the face now if I click here check attendance you can see uh, still there is no data here it's it, it's written Steve 0 Sukhoi 0 and uh, but nothing has been displayed because we don't have any attendance or any uh, data okay so let's hit start detecting to start marking attendance click start detecting let's let's try with Steve here you can see the attendance for Steve has been marked uh, let's try to check that attendance click on check attendance and you can see here the Steve's attendance has been marked here it is written Steve with attendance of 1 means present for one day and Sukhoi is still on 0 Sukhoi 0 Steve 1 and this pie chart shows completely of C so yes and uh, let's try to uh, mark the attendance again with both of them now now hit start detecting again now we are going to mark the attendance for both you can see the attendance for Steve has been marked and let's try with Sukhoi see the attendance for Sukhoi has been also marked let's close it and uh, check the attendance now now you can see the Steve is present for two days here you can see and uh, but the Sukhoi is present only for one day here Sukhoi is one and Steve is two and uh, in the pie chart we can also see Sukhoi is uh, Steve is slightly more than Sukhoi which means Steve present for more days than Steve worked for more days than for as compared to Sukhoi okay so this is the graphical uh, representation of attendance in this project and uh, this was the project of uh, automatic attendance system uh, in Python also this project contains uh, some setting panel here uh, if we click on this setting panel you can see here a new window has been come and it says show real-time attendance and uh, it is ticked checked now which means when we click here start detecting it displays that window with real-time image capturing uh, where the the user can see itself in front of the camera but if we want to if we don't want to display that image then we can uncheck here this and hit close now if we start detecting a new window has been opened here which is saying detecting and the camera is now running in the background now we can we uh, there is no real time image displaying here no real time video but we can still mark the attendance let's try to mark the attendance for Steve now again see the attendance for Steve has been marked without even uh, displaying that the attendance has been marked okay now I'm going to hit the stop here and uh, let's check attendance again this time the Steve's attendance will be 3 you can see here Steve is 3 and Sukhoi is still 1 see so this was the project of automatic attendance system using Python and OpenCV and if you want the source code of this project you can message me on the Instagram again the link is in the description you can get the source code from there and uh, also if you like this project and if you want more amazing projects like this you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video guys.